cannot compare your giants to your size. Here's the idea. The idea is that we go through life and we measure other people's success by way of what we've been afforded in life. When in reality, you don't know what it took for them to get what they have. You don't know what it took, come on y'all, you don't know what it took for them to get the house. You don't know what it took for them to get the job. But what you do know is that if you open up your Bible, if you open up your hymn book, and you get down in God's word, and you meditate on the day and night and you ask God for what you want sooner or later God will open up the window from heaven pull you out of blessing the devil not be room enough to receive do I have to tell us what I want I make her deep and I'm really looking to testify that when God shows up God knows how to show out he'll open up blinded eyes he'll steal the soul he'll do it and so, and so the issue is, the issue is, is that, is that from the surface, it looks like we can not make it. Yeah. Are you in here? Looks like we can't take it. Huh? Looks like we're going to be defeated. Life has beat us up. Life has knocked us down. So much so that you found yourself down in life more than up. Ah, come on, talk back to me. That, that, oh, come on, y'all. That'll be five, six, four, who can be transparent in this building. Huh? You're, 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 you're not too religious enough to sit with your head and pass. You talking to me. And you discover in life that the more you're down, you realize that that's the perfect posture. That's the perfect position to have a little talk with Jesus. That's when you discover that it's not all that bad just being down a little bit. Because if I had every day I was up, I never would appreciate what God is doing for me. God couples the good and the bad to bring something better out of me. Now, you cannot compare your giants to your size. Look at verse number 24. You have your Bibles open? Look at verse number 24. Verse 24 says, when the Israelites saw the man, they all ran from him in great fear. Lord have mercy. Now, it's not as though these brothers don't know who God is. Yeah. <laughs> Are you here? Huh? Have they heard of him? I've huh? heard of him doing some things. Yeah. Come on, on y'all. Come on, Freak. And isn't it strange that the very ones in our lives, in the church, in our families, who have seen God work miracles out on the operating table? Come on, huh? God has healed somebody next to you while you were sitting next to them. And when you find yourself sick, the only thing you can depend on is the God that showed up last week and healed my neighbor's body. He can show up this week and heal my body. There is no God can do. Oh, not perfect. That's why, that's why, that's why you have to be careful. Be very sure that you surround yourself with folk who are connected to Jesus. Are you in here? And so, and so, watch this. In that particular verse there, they ran, they ran, they ran in fear. Hebrew wording there reveals that the Israeli army was beaten down with defeat. They were, they were, they were paralyzed huh, with fear. Have you ever been in that situation or that place where you really felt as though your back was up against the wall? You didn't know how you was going to get out. You didn't know how you were going to make it. You know how the bill was going to get paid. Come on, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one who ever had lights turned off. Don't talk back to me, huh? And let me tell you something. The lights don't ever turn off when you expect them to. Uh, pain don't ever come when you expect it to. Problems don't ever come when you expect it to. Situations, struggles, hardships, trials, and tribulations don't ever come when you expect They come in unwelcomely. 
so these boys were paralyzed hmm, with fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here so much so that they were ready to succumb to their problem. Are you in here? Brothers and sisters, Paul <laughs> gives us a very rich scripture right there. He tells us, I can do all things. Come on, y'all, help me preach a preach. Through Christ, which gives me strength. Now, that scripture is not just powerful when you're going through your problems. You need to stand on that scripture when you're still on the mountaintop. You need, come on, talk back to me. That scripture is not just powerful when you find yourself sick. That scripture is more powerful when you find yourself in a seat on somebody else's behalf when they're sick. That's why it's important. That's why it's important that you pray, if you will, for one another. And so, and so, the idea is that we walk around with this yardstick. And when situations happen in our lives, we take out the measure. And we determine whether it's a problem that I can fix or not. Or whether it's a problem that I, that I need to tuck tail and run. Are you in here? Now, the interesting part about this, this dynamic, is that uh, it's oftentimes ascribed to people who frequent church. Yeah. Preach fast gospel. Yeah. Isn't, it isn't it strange, brothers and sisters, how we can have some serious Christians in church? Yeah. Huh? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look, they can quote every other scripture in the Bible because they read the whole Bible multiple times. Huh? But as soon as they find themselves in a struggle or in a hardship, they act like they never open up their, come on y'all, they never open up their Bible one time. And what happens is, is that that same word that ministered to you, Psalm 23, is still real. But it bears more witness when I'm going through. Because everybody in the building needs the shepherd. So, not compare your giants to your size. Your mountains are not designed to be smaller than you. Mountains are always designed uh, and looked upon as giants, as grandeur, as beautiful, immaculate. And when you look at a mountain, you find yourself doing like this because it's bigger than you. Isn't it strange? God will allow situations to happen in my life that are bigger than me because I can't grow if I'm bigger than it. Preach fast thoughts, I'm trying to, but they're not saying nothing. The only way God can grow you is that you have to be faced with a problem that makes you open up, come on y'all, that makes you open your Bible, makes you come to Bible study, makes you come to Sunday school, makes you pay your tithe. Sometimes God has to put us in a situation, he has to make us fight on our back, thank you Deacon Clemens, so that he can get us to look up. And that's what our Bible says, spoke in the building of the testimony, that you've been sick and God healed you. You've been through God, put money in your pocket. You've been know where your next bill is going to come from. But the Lord showed up. Just in the middle of time. Lord, have mercy. God promises to be that. That's why David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. And I've never seen his seed begging for bread. So not only, not only, not only, not only. You cannot, <laughs> you cannot, you will compare your giants to your size. But secondly, you have to successfully uh, complete basic training. Uh, you have complete training camp. Right. Uh, <laughs> you can't get your strength. Watch out now. Unless you finish the course. Yeah. You cannot graduate, baby. You can't get a degree. Uh, if you do not go through the training. 
Are you in here? Okay, okay, okay. I know you need Bible. Can I read it for you? Let me read it for you. Look at verse number 34. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Look at verse 34. 34. You ready for it? Watch this. But David said to Saul, your servant uh, has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came, carried off the sheep from the flock, I went after it. Can I dawson it? Yeah. And I killed it. Oh, that was. Watch out, please. <laughs> huh? Here's the idea. Here's the idea. Let me bring you up. This is the issue. You have the Philistines on one side. Yeah. Huh? You have the Israeli army on the other side. Yeah. You have a valley in between. David is the shepherd's boy. Jesse's son. Yeah. David would tend to the sheep. David was always working. But David would go backwards and forward. Or he would get to the mountain to make sure his brothers were doing all right. And he'd go back down and tend to the sheep. Well, his daddy said, listen here, boy, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take, take some food up there to the mountain. And read, read the whole book, whole chapter 17, to get its entirety. So I want you to take your, boy, your brother some food up there. He said, and, 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 and make sure that they're doing all right. Well, David got up, had somebody else get into the sheep, did what his daddy told him to do. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. The idea is that folk miss this. Folk miss the fact that David has always been working. Come on, y'all. Huh? David is simply doing what his daddy told him to do. Tend to the sheep. David does it. Go to the mountain. David does it. Come back down. David does it. All I'm trying to tell you is that when God wants you to do something, when he comes to you, make sure that you're working when he comes to all hammers. I must work the works of him that sent me. While I'm in the day, but when night comes, no man can work. So when God was before, tended to the sheep. And on this particular day, he goes up for some food. And watch this, watch this, watch this. His brother, his brother cries out. One of his brother cries out, I say, wait a minute, man. He said, you come up here to make fun of us. Can I dance and dance and why, why, why are you poking fun at us? You come up here to see us die. You come up here to see us bleed. And all David was saying, no, I came up here because my dad, our daddy, sent me up here. Can I put a pin mark right here and chase this right there? When God tells you to do something, you don't owe nobody no explanation. You don't need to give nobody a high five. You don't have to turn around seven times. You don't have a ball on your face. All you have to do is tell them, the Lord. Stop that to me. I mean, you up 